Hey you guys, this is Say here. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a spring nail design. It's more of like one of those little trendy nail designs that I see all over the place with these really pretty flowers. And the fact that I recently just purchased some flowers from Shein, that's what I wanted to use for today's video. So let's just jump right in and get started. I'm actually gonna show you what I'm gonna be using first and then we'll get into the physical nail design. Okay, so these are the colors that I'm going to be using for today's video. I have Dreamy, Dreaming of You, In the Clouds, La La Land, and then Daydream. All of these are from the Pastel Dreams collection that I sell. These are hard gel colors. It's not a build gel, meaning you cannot build a full apex or create a long extension with these. Um, These are pretty much for the color, like if you want to encapsulate, if you did want to do like a short overlay, this is perfect for that type of nail design. So we're going to be using these these colors as well as the new in bloom color that I recently launched this one is a builder gel meaning you can build a full extension you can build your apex with this so this is what that color looks like it's a really pretty neutral nude color with I want to say it's like silver glitter inside of it it's a really pretty shimmer inside uh, so we're going to be using this one I am gonna go ahead take out my clear just in case I need to encapsulate I'm not sure we'll have to see how it turns out but then for the actual flowers if you see my last video i show these there but i'm actually going to use like this kind not these larger ones but the smaller ones like this one i think that one is really pretty and i see these designs all over the place using these little flowers so that's exactly what i want to do and then of course you guys already know i'm going to go in with some gold because i love me some gold and then we're going to bling it up with some crystals so i'm pretty sure i'm going to go in with the ab crystal Okay, so these are majority of the stuff that I'm going to be using. So let's just jump right in and get into this nail look. If you guys know from my channel, I feel like I say it all the time, but I like to save my tips. So I'm going to go in with a peel off base coat. I don't have a link for this because this is a product that I've been testing and I'm trying to come up with my own. This kind of base coat is a peel off base coat that cures in the light, is not air dry. So you would just have to add a thin layer like so and then just cure it for a full 60 seconds and then do your nails and, and then you'll be able to pop it off right after you complete your design or you can wear it for a little while and then pop them off but they should easily pop off without having any issues so i'm gonna go ahead and use the extra long coffin non c curve tips that's what these look like so I've already pre-measured my sizes, just making sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall. And I'm gonna start gluing them down with my rubber base coat. So before you do any of this, you do wanna make sure that you're removing the oils from your nail plate as well as removing any kind of dead cuticle or skin that's stuck on the plate. That can definitely cause lifting. You guys already know I'm skipping that because I do have that peel off base coat on. So like I said, I'm gonna go in with my rubber base coat and I'm only gonna apply a small amount to the tip, just like so flip the nail and then glue it down for me my nails are a little bit pinched on these sidewalls so after you glue all your nails down you do want to go ahead and file off anything that's like either sticking up or hanging off your physical nail plate but for me i'm gonna skip that because like i said i do have that peel off base coat so this is what they are looking like and you will go in with your dehydrator and your rubber base coat and, do, and cover the entire surface but again we're skipping it because you know I'm not keeping these on for that long. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna get all of my colors ready. So again, we're using Dreamy, Dreaming of You, In the Clouds, La La Land, and then Daydream. And then we're gonna go into this order. So from the pinky all the way to the thumb. So I'm gonna start with the pinky first. And I'm only gonna apply it to half of the nail because we're going to ombre the other color on top. Oh no, I wanted to shorten the length. I forgot. We're gonna just keep these long. <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's one color so you could either do one coat or two coats it's up to you i'm actually happy with one coat of that i'm just gonna go ahead i'm gonna just do a quick cure and then move on to the next color again it's going to be blue purple pink yellow and green In between each color, I'm just doing one of these, using the same brush, cleaning it, and then moving on to the next color.
So I'm actually gonna go in with clear first. And this is me just wetting the surface of this bottom nail. I think this is going to be an easier application when applying the in bloom on top. I'm trying to ombre it down. I'm gonna test it out, see if it works. I'm gonna add thin layer like so, then take in bloom and put that at the top and then guide that down. Trying to get up close to that cuticle. light-handed today at all so what was supposed to happen is you lightly glide it down but i am not being light-handed at all i am being so heavy-handed right now i'm just gonna glide it all the way down i'm actually gonna flip my finger over I'm gonna wait a few seconds and i'm hoping that gravity is going to let that gel sink right to the center I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cure that, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the rest of them. So I'm just adding the in bloom on top of this surface. I am realizing I don't need um, the crystal clear first to blend it down. I kind of like having the you know in bloom color over it on top because it gives like, the bottom part a little shimmer as well, which is pretty cool. I'm just getting a really thin, even coat first because I still want that color to pop through. I don't want it to change the bottom color. Just give it a nice little wet layer and then continue building up and then blending down. Hearing well What's helping me is as I'm adding this and dragging it down, I am flipping over my nail so gravity can do its thing and it's actually helping the ombre process, which is nice. And it's less struggle for me, less work for me trying to get this to look like an ombre. Que me quema 
cuando vaya La nota me estalla Mami, ¿qué más? Hay algo en ti que me tiene mal Okay, so this is what they are currently looking like. Loving the color. Uh, so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and start encapsulating with clear. And this is where I'm gonna go ahead and build my apex, make sure my structure is good. So what I like to do is I like to take a small amount first. Oh no, what is in my nail? What is that? So I'll take a little, a little layer and kind of just, I'll take a little amount and do a thin layer first, just like so, which this would be my slip layer. And just to give you a side profile, if you see, this is, you see, I have like no, I have like a big lump here and then this is super flat. So what we want, we want that apex to really, well, obviously not that high, but you know, once you do your apex, it's going to be a smooth transition and flowing down. It's gonna fill all this little gap in. And with this gel right now, I do have it um, on my coaster warmer. So it's just going to warm up the gel a little bit so it flows better. It is chilly where I'm at, and that tends to make my gel stiff. I like to have my gel extremely loose and like flowy. So I put mine on the coaster warmer. But as you can see, I just take that large amount and kind of just like guide it down the nail. Paying attention to my side walls. And as I'm doing this, I am pointing the nail down so gravity could kind of like pull that gel down. I have something in my nail which is bugging me. I'm not sure what that is, but I already encapsulated so it's gonna have to stay there. And since it's warmer, it's going to self-level really nicely. So just like that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cure that. So this is what they look like encapsulated and oh, they look so pretty. You can see all the little shimmer inside of it. Super pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning the surface. This is my nail cleanser and I'm just cleaning it because we're gonna go into filing. Okay, so from here I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna start filing these side walls first. Making sure they are straight. And then the free edge. Again, just trying to make sure everything is straight and nothing is out of place or wonky. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my fine tapered drill bit. This is the one that comes in my drill bit kit that I saw on the website. I'm gonna use this at, okay, so right now I'm at 22,000 RPM. And I'm just gonna go around this cuticle area. Okay. 
Again, this is just to remove any kind of lumps, making sure your nail surface is smooth. I'm gonna do that to all of them. So I seen a trick on TikTok where they put cuticle oil first on the nails and then buff over. We're gonna try it out. So this is so weird. Um, I'm gonna take, oh my God, I'm gonna take a little bit like so and just rub it over. This is weird to me. Like oils is not gel's friend. So I don't know, we'll see. When they put the oil, they started buffing over. I'm not sure how effective that's gonna be. Uh, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I see a difference with it having oil and not having oil. I don't know if that, if, I don't know what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to file for a buff better. So I don't know if that really mattered or not. Um, I don't know, you let me know. So this is what they look like and I don't know if buffing it that way really matters. I don't think I'm gonna do that again. But anyway, I'm just gonna go in with my nail cleanser and remove any kind of dust and oils that's on the surface. I would think it, would, it wouldn't allow any kind of gel to stick to it because like you're putting oil on top, right? TikTok is crazy. Oh my god, and if you're following me on Instagram, thank you so freaking much. I hit 50, 50,000 subscribers over on Instagram. If you're not following me, go over, check my Instagram out. Um, is the Set Gel Nails. I do have a business one, which is LGN Pro. But I'm so excited. I hit 50,000 followers on Instagram. And I'm so close to hitting 50,000 uh, followers here as well. 50,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which I am so freaking thankful, you guys. I can't even describe how honored I feel that you guys like my content, like my work, like my gels. Um, but yeah, if you're not following me, go ahead, follow me and get me to that 50,000 mark. <laughs> So I like how they look, but I don't want to just add flowers and call it a day. I kind of wanted to add a little bit of swirly lines on top. So I'm going to take out all my colors again. And then I'm going to go in with the liner brush. You can see it right. Oh, can you see it right there? Boom. Liner. Um, this is what that one it looks like. This is the second to longest brush that I have. And I'm just going to pick up a small amount and start doing some kind of line work. Just starting off with the blue. And it's more... It's it's going to be more like swirls. My hand is so shaky. Something like that and veering off as well. Almost looking like veins. <laughs> That is cool. I like that. I'm gonna cure that. I'm gonna do the same kind of style, maybe just a little bit different for each one, um, using these same, you know, coordinate, coordinating colors.
pretty. So now it's time for some bling. So we're gonna go in with the AB crystals. And then I'm gonna take out flowers that I wanna use. Again, I'm just gonna use like the little ones. I'm not gonna use these big ones. I feel like they're too big and I don't want it to overpower the nails. So we're just gonna do something really simple, um, clean, all the same across all the nails. So I'm gonna take my Bling It No Wipe Rhinestone Gel. This cures non-tacky. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, how do I wanna do it? I think I'm gonna apply it on the entire nail. So I'm gonna uh, apply it to the entire surface like this. And for the flowers, I'm gonna match the flowers. So like these are more like a yellowish color. So I'm gonna add this to this one, the green, of course, then pink, this one purple, and then blue to this ring, this, this pinky. So something really simple, nothing too crazy like so. And I'm gonna take my bling out and add it in between like this to here. And then a little one at the end. Like that, I don't know if I like that. I feel like that's a little too simple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these around and I think I'm just gonna add them. And that's one thing that I love about um, is Bling It Gel. Like it's not stuck to one spot. For the middle of the flowers, I think I'm gonna add um, gel and then add like some carrier beads. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna cure that. Yeah, so for the most part, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do to all of them. Alright you guys, so this is the final look. I think they look so freaking pretty. Let me know what you guys think. Easter is coming up, so y'all already know. Let me know your ideas for Easter nail designs. And let me also know what you guys think of this design. I think it's really pretty, it's really cute, it's really girly. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know your opinions. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Love ya.